I just want to start this video by saying I don't want to sound cringy, but this video, the support I've had on this video, 132,000 views, 6.3 thousand likes. I genuinely have never had support like that before. I am blown away. I am like shocked. I'm so, so, so grateful to all of you guys for the epic support you've shown. If you do go into this, enjoy this video, smash like on this video. If we can somehow hit 2,000 likes on this video again, I'd be very grateful. Make sure you look out for the Wednesday episodes as well. They started this week and they will be every single Wednesday. Uh, and let's get into the I rate your teams for this week. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. It's Sunday. It's 10 a.m. You know what that means is I rate your teams. Let's get into it. If you want to be featured in the next episode, all you have to do, send a HD screenshot to me on Twitter using the hashtag It's Haber. Please don't out me. Please use the hashtag It's Haber for, uh, for you to be featured in the video. Uh, send a HD screenshot from your Xbox or PlayStation. Links down below for you guys to know how to do that. It's like a little tutorial videos for you guys down below. Um, and tell me about your team. If you have a team that starts in a 4-3-3, but you play a 4 one 2 one 2 in game, Include both screenshots so I can sort of talk you through what I'd change and keep your team on full chemistry. Um, and just give me a brief description about your team, how many coins you got, who's tradable, slash untradable, uh, and sort of how you're finding FIFA and, and sort of where you are in FIFA, really, and, and sort of what you're looking for the team. Just want to quickly say, Viva La FIFA, we've never spoken before. Don't just nab my video and say we're friends. We have never conversed in our lives, all right? Some guy called Viva La FIFA stole my video and was like, my friend, it's Haber, just did it. I, 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 okay, right. Well, apparently we're friends now, so uh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm not calling anyone out, by the way. Don't send hate to anyone. It's just, just a little joke. Um, the first team is going to come from Nathan. Uh, Ludovic have 330,000 coins left after packing Kevin De Bruyne. Untradables are PK Guardiola. Any improvements? Also, I am planning to get Roberto Carlos at left back from Icon Swap. Okay, so first of all, thank you for the support. Second of all, the team's very small. <laughs> um, I'm gonna gonna look straight into the squad and see if I can help you out here. So you've got 330,000 coins for improvements. That's a lot of coins for improvements, bro. Um, I'm not entirely sure I like Gamero. I would personally go with Griezmann if I were you. I think Griezmann would probably be a better option for uh, for your striker. Uh, Griezmann or possibly Hyungmin Son. You know what? I would swap Trippier for Nelson Semedo, and I would get Hyungmin Son as your striker. I would also probably try and get Robertson as your left back. Now, I am going off the basis that Hyungman Son hasn't gone up in price. He was around 300 and something K when I last checked, pretty sure. And he's up to 600K. I'm guessing that's because Road to the Final cards came out. Oh, he, he was down to 400K, not 300K. I do apologize. And he's up to 600K. So, wow, never mind. Hyungman Son is not an option. Um, unless, how much is Gamero going for right now? The levels I go for these squads. Let me, let me just double check how much Gamero is going for. 100k. So that gives you 430-ish k. Uh, Trippier is... How much is Trippier? Trippier is... Let me just double check. I didn't say it. Trippier was untradeable. PK and Guardiola. Okay, good. 74k. So you're going to be on roughly 500k. So unfortunately, you can't afford Son yet. If you can... Honestly, if you have the willpower to save for Son, I'd do that. If not, I'd go with Nelson Semedo right back, as discussed before. Robertson at left back. That gives you what? That takes you probably up to nearly 100k. You've got maybe like 400k to work with for your striker. I would personally go with um, either Roberto Firmino. I have no idea how much his scream card is. I don't know if you have the coins for his scream card or not. You don't, unfortunately. Uh, so either go with Griezmann, a good version of Griezmann. Um, Roberto Firmino's normal card. Maybe Lacazette. Um, or just go with someone either French or Premier League that gets the links. You could also maybe swap Martial for a different left winger and go with a better striker. You could, for example, um, trying to think what the best option here for you is. Uh, maybe getting a Bamiang up top and swapping out Martial for a left wing from Arsenal. I don't think there is one, so that's not an option. Um, it's a difficult one. You could po possibly... I don't know. You know, I'm actually stumped at the first squad. Let me know down below what you do to this squad because I'm kind of stumped with that one. I do apologize. Next one is from Joe Leg. Uh, I have 10,000 coins. Everyone except Vardy, Vardy is tradable. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of Jamie Vardy's in this episode. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so what would I do with this squad? I would personally swap out Zaha, sell Zaha. I don't know how much Zaha is going for. I think it's about 15k. 
I would probably sell that Zaha card and go with a better striker. Now, Zaha is fantastic on this game. Do not get me wrong. But I would personally have a, a striker on full chemistry over Zaha off chemistry. I would also sell your two centre-backs, your two 87-rated centre-backs. They've gone up a little bit thanks to the um, Joe Gomez SBC. I would actually go with normal Joe Gomez over on the probably the left and go with Davidson Sanchez over on the right. I think that you can just about afford that. And then up top, go with... I mean, you could just keep Zaha off chemistry if you really do like Zaha off chemistry, but I would probably go with someone that gets you chemistry, maybe like a an English striker um, or a French striker from the Prem. Now, there isn't a whole lot of options there, to be honest, um, that are great. Um, I would probably... I mean, you could just keep Zaha if you're really enjoying Zaha. I'm just thinking more based off of chemistry, but definitely for the back line, I'd swap them for Joe Gomez and Davinson Sanchez. Um, and then maybe get like Kepper in goal. I actually liked Kepper this year. Um, if you're enjoying Michael, keep him because I think goalkeepers are different for everyone. But uh, but I enjoyed Kepper. Uh, apart from that, I like what you do with the Pulisic and Dembele out in the wings. Looks pretty uh, pretty snazzy. Now the next one's from Liam Seber. I switched to a four triple two in game with Anderson and Dembele in camps. Everyone is trade blocks at Rashford and SBCs. Okay. 4 triple 2 Anderson, Dembele comes. Everyone is tradable except for Rashford and SBCs. I am going to go out on a limb and say De Jong might be untradable too because of the uh, ones to watch pack. So I'm going to talk based on it off of the fact that he's untradable. Um, but it could be it could be the fact that he is tradable actually. Uh, but I would just say that I wouldn't have gone with ones to watch De Jong. I would have gone with normal De Jong if he is tradable. Uh, what would I do? So you're four triple two with Rashford and Vardy up top. Um, I would possibly swap Wijnaldum for Sizoko at CDM, and I know I say everyone to get Sizoko, but I really like Sizoko this year. I would then also look possibly selling Militao and getting potentially um, Varane. If you have the coins, you haven't said how many coins you have, so I'm, I don't know how many coins you've got. If you can get the coins for Varane, I'd go with Varane. If not, I'd keep Militao. Um, I'd also potentially look at getting rid of Chilwell. If you could afford someone along the lines of Andy Robertson, I think you'd probably prefer him over Chilwell. Aside from that, I like what you've got going with the team. I like the five-star skillers in there, and I like the pace as well. And like I said, Vardy's going to be in so many of these squads. So I've got 70,000 coins. I was wondering what to do. Play 3-5-2 in game. I've had a few ideas like the one here. was also thinking of getting in form Adama, playing him right mid in game with Rashford on the left and Mendy at the back. Puki, Vardy, Ozil, Endon, Melio, and Tradable. Okay, let's have a look. So you're thinking of starting that and then going into this in game. Um... It looks strong. It actually looks really strong. I like this. I would look at possibly a different right back option. If you can stretch towards Kyle Walker, uh, I would look towards Kyle Walker. As you say, you've got 70,000 coins. I don't know if that's after factoring in these players or before factoring them uh, in those players. I'm not entirely sure. But if you can get Kyle Walker, I think him, him being, I think, six foot, um, better physical, better jumping, better pace, um, stronger. I think that you probably prefer him at centre back. Uh, over uh, Ricardo Pereira. Aside from that, I think this team is pretty strong. I, I like the look of this team. I think it's a decent team for sure. Um, I think that you got a lot of a lot of strengths here and there. I would, if you were to get Kyle Walker, I would then get get Ariola in net instead of Allison. I hate Allison in this game. I thought he was absolutely awful. Um, Ariola gives you full chemistry still as well. Uh, next team moving on, we have got. Teddy Hooksteps team. He says, rate my team, please. And what do you think of it? Let me know. Okay. So he doesn't want change. He just wants me to let me know what you think. Uh, what do I think of your team? I think that your midfield is really attacking. Now, often I actually get destroyed by attacking midfields um, without even realizing it. But I think your midfield is too attacking. Playing a goalie off chemistry is really ballsy and probably not necessary. Um, out of reroad <laughs> is out of reroad, I think is the best way to describe it. Probably not great in this game. Same with MT, really. Um, I know you haven't really asked for improvements, but if I was to improve your squad, um, I would personally go with Kieran Tierney at left back. Whoa, when have I ever said that before? Never. I would go with Kieran Tierney at left back. I would sell your entire two centre backs and your goalkeeper. I would then get Kepa, Davidson Sanchez, and Joe Gomez as your back line. I would then probably bench Ozil and go with a Sizoko if you have the coins. If not, go with like a any kind of box to box that's pretty OP in the Prem for not too many coins. Um, maybe a Lerma, someone like that. I'm not entirely sure. A Lamina or someone. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe an Indidi. Indidi would probably be pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, so from that, I like the team. I like the the, the top line. 
is very good. Excuse me for the hiccups. The top line is very, very good. Um, next team is going to be... We'll do this one because this is a good... It's, it's a good photo, you know? It's, it's, it's very, very uh, good photo. Uh, you can actually see it really well. It's from Ethan. He says, This is my team. Only in Dumbali is untradeable. I have 40,000 coins for upgrades. I know what to do. Please help. Keep up the great work. Love the bits. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. So, you've got 40,000 coins for upgrades and the only untradeable is Endombele. Vardy at Cam. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Vardy has to... Maybe in game, if you swap Vardy and Mares, you'll probably find it a lot easier. But Vardy at Cam is a big no-no. Mares at Strike is also a big no-no. Swap those in game. You're sorted. Uh, Otamendi. Also not great. I would go for someone like Nathan Ake at centre-back. Um, and then probably replace Pickford with Kepa. Then I would probably save towards Isazoko. If you can afford him already, buy him. If not, then buy uh, save up towards him and buy Isazoko for your left CDM. Then I think your squad looking a lot better than what it was. Definitely. Uh, next squad is from Solster. Got 200,000 coins in the starting 11. Only De Bruyne, Schmeichel, Osterman, Vardy, Chong are untradeable. Play 4-4-2 in game. Okay. Well, you got De Bruyne untradeable. I'm very jealous because that card is ridiculously good looking. Um, and I'm on about his card and his, his face is pretty good looking as well. Um, <laughs> but no, that's it. You got some nice and tradables to be fair. You got, uh, yeah, you got some nice plays and tradable. What would I do? That's a good question. Um, very good question. I would see, I think you've got great plays and great positions. Maybe looking at getting a better left mid. Uh, you've got 200k in the bank. Scream Bernard is screaming out to me as a better left mid. And then, aside from that, I don't know a whole lot I'd change, really. I mean, you could go with Ramos at centre-back. Um, but at the same time, I think that you probably prefer grading... Uh, your Douglas Costa to screen Bernard than you would upgrading Eden Militao to Ramos, to be honest. Uh, so that's what I do with this squad. Again, another Vardy. I wonder how many Vardys is going to be. Another one! Uh, next one's from Oliver Hart. He said, I've got 100,000 coins-ish. I'm getting Roberto Carlos from our swaps. What upgrades would you make? That's a really, really pixelated small image. I do apologize. This is why I say like HD images. And obviously, this is not having a go at this guy. Um, it's just sort of saying it. So in-game, you play. Oh, wow. You got Neymar. I didn't even notice that straight away. Um, what would I change? You got 100,000 coins. If you get Roberto Carlos from swaps, what upgrades would I make? What upgrades would I make? Um, that's a good question. I don't know what upgrades I'd make here, to be honest. Um... Potentially just looking to get maybe a better left centre-back. Maybe upgrading Eder Militao eventually to a Ramos. Um, aside from that, I personally don't see a big... Ch I mean, you could... You could upgrade Fabinho to his inform. Um, you know, you could go that route, but I don't think it's worth it in my opinion. I personally just look towards upgrading Eder Militao eventually. Eder Militao is really OP, but... I would eventually upgrade him. Definitely. Aside from that, I like the team. Uh, next squad is going to be from Griffin the OG. He says, Untradables are Fernandinho, Puki, Vardy, Kante, and all subs. I have 800,000 coins to improve my squad. You have 800k. And that's, damn, that's a nice squad. Kante is already in the squad, so I can't say. <laughs> I would say get informed Fabinho as your right CDM. Um, I've got his red card, and he is really, really good. I would also say getting rid of Puki at Cam and going with De Bruyne. Um, I think you probably prefer, and then probably put in Zaha as your left wide Cam and De Bruyne as your central Cam. Um, so then you'll have uh, Inform Fabinho and De Bruyne as your two upgrades. Um, and aside from that, your team is pretty much at the top level. And I don't think of another upgrade you can make apart from icons. So it's really, really sweet. Uh, it's a very nice team, mate. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, he's got 100,000 coins to spend. This is from Zabdos. Uh, it's Haver. Okay, 100k to spend. I'm guessing you play the same in game. I, I wouldn't know because you didn't tell me. Um, get rid of Dinye. Get Tierney straight away. Come on, guys. Get Tierney. Get your Tierneys. Right? Get your Kieran Tierneys. Then I'd probably replace Socrates with with um, Joe Gomez, to be honest. And I'd replace Trent Alexander-Arnold with Kyle Walker. Smash that one out of the park. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Next one's from Redis07. 
Uh, he says, love your vids, mate. Keep up the good work. All but Lacazette and Fabinho and Chong and Osherman are untradeable. The rest are tradable. Uh, have 40,000 coins for improvement suggestions. Also play them with Vardy, Swat, Forces, Oko. Okay. All right. Um, you, you're telling me you... <laughs> He's telling me you put play with Vardy at centre mid. Really? Why? Why would you put... Okay, I mean, I'm not one to judge, I guess. I mean, I am. That's literally what this video is, is judging teams. Uh, what would I do here? I would get Klosterman at right back over Kimmich. I think Kimmich is terrible. Klosterman's phenomenal, though. Um, what else would I do? A good question. Uh, I would probably actually, to be honest, I'm not going to lie... I'd probably full commit to a full Bundesliga back line. Um, I would probably go with maybe a Boateng as your right centre-back or maybe somewhere along those lines. Uh, I'm trying to think of great Bundesliga centre-backs. Boateng's pretty good this year, I feel like. Uh, he's quite strong. Um, I'd then obviously go with a, a Bundesliga goalkeeper and then Klosterman, as I said, at right back. Um, you could go down the OP route and get like Upper Mancano at right centre-back along with uh, Lucas Hernandez if you really wanted to. But I'd full commit to that. I know he's going to put Fabinho off chemistry. Uh, I would then possibly... How many coins you got? 40k. Probably sell Fabinho and get Endon Bele and have an Endon Bele Sizoko midfield. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'd do with your squad. Nice though. I like it. Uh, everyone's got Vardy. Obviously, it's a really cheap SBC. Of course, everyone's got Vardy. Um, the next one is from Jorge. Or George. Probably just George. Uh, 250k budget. Lucas, Sizoko, Guardiola, PK, Gomez, and all the bench are untradeable. So not too many untradeables then. <laughs> um, all right. So Lucas, Sizoko, Guardiola, PK, and Gomez. Okay. Um, why are you playing Ben Yedda up front as a centre mid? Oh, this is how you start. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Duh. Um, what would I do? What would I do? What would I do? You have 250,000 coins to upgrade your team. I would get to Stegen in net. I would also probably get Informed Trent because I know you need him for chemistry. So I'd probably upgrade to Informed Trent uh, and upgrade to Alibur at left back. And then obviously work towards getting your Gelson. If you still have this team by level 30 of season two, get Gelson Martins in there and you'll have a really, really nice side. Uh, but I like the setup of this actually. The 442 is really strong this year. I am liking it. The next one is from Bismo Gaming. I have 120K by the way. I also don't know a good formation. Do you know any? I'm liking the 4312, the 442, um, the 4334, and the 3421. I know, very weird formations, few and far between, but they're the ones I'm liking at the moment. What would I do with this squad with 120,000 coins? Um, honestly, not a lot. I'd maybe just upgrade Pyatt to a better cam. Uh, but then again, can you get a better cam? not to be honest honestly with 120k i don't think i'd do anything to this squad i think you've got it nailed down uh, anyway the last squad is gonna be from matt haywood i'm not gonna scroll down further so you guys don't see the name i don't want oh no okay i don't want anyone feeling bad i've just i've just messed it up now uh i don't want any i, I was about to say i don't want anyone feeling bad about who didn't get featured and then my fat fingers unfortunately showed everyone um but this one's from matt haywood play four through three four in game uh, love, uh, sorry, 300k in the bank. Edison Cancelo are tradable. Love the channel. Okay, thank you very much, Matt. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so everyone's untradable bar Edison and Cancelo, and you've got 300k in the bank. What would I do with this team? What would I do with this team? It's a good question, actually. Um, what would I do with this team? Probably work towards Kante. I think definitely working towards Kante. Now, Kante's probably risen a lot, actually. Thank you to this card. Thank you to this 90-rated card. His gold card's up at 430k. Um, I would probably wait for the drop and get Kante. I'd also probably upgrade to Davinson Sanchez, Davinson Sanchez in the process. Um, I guess in the process as well, we could probably get a better centre mid, like Wijnaldum or someone like that. Um, a better box-to-box. -box. Aside from that, I think your team is actually really OP, and I like it a lot. And that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed this, smash the like down below. Uh, I would do more, but unfortunately, I've got a two-hour drive ahead of me, um, and it's 9 p.m., and <laughs> I don't want to be too tired. I don't want to be falling asleep at the wheel. So I appreciate all the support you guys are showing me. Uh, thank you all for your epic support. Uh, thank you for the unreal support on the last one, and I'm very grateful to be in the position I'm in. So thank you all for that. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you lads later.